That's a good question. We have a little salt shaker that comes out each month, and we're back to this same idea. The only thing you'll find in the salt shaker are issues related to biblical truth and morality. In other words, sin as over against righteousness. We're not going to we're not going to put in there uh, issues about whether they ought to pave Roscoe Boulevard, uh, write your congressman, uh, or whether they ought to uh, allow uh, certain laws to pass related to schools or education or budget or zoning. Uh, in other words, what we're dealing with is moral issues. When we feel there is due process by which we can articulate the Christian perspective. Now, in the last couple of days, Sam Erickson has been here. I was talking to Sam about how he fits because, see, he's the head of the Christian Legal Society, which basically is a group that functions in Washington, a group of Christian lawyers who go into the courts and lobby for the Christian viewpoint. And again, what they're doing is taking due process of law in an honorable and reasonable way, demonstrating Christian character and Christian testimony, and articulating a Christian viewpoint on these issues. Now, that's very vital, and that's what we're asking people to do in the salt shaker. That's not political. That's, that's taking a voice in moral issues that face our nation and giving the Christian perspective. The editor of the L.A. Times one time said to me, with, he was coming here, and he said that you, the owner, he said, you, uh, why don't you ever use the platform there to get on the bandwagon for some of these really important political issues? And I said, because the only thing I want to talk about is what God talks about. Everybody's got their opinion. I think God has a right to be heard in the midst of all of this. And all we want to do is articulate the biblical view. And it's key for us to have Christian lawyers who will go into a courtroom, for example, when a debate is going on, and give a biblical viewpoint to an issue that is confronting the nation. Right now, the Christian Legal Society has three cases before the Supreme Court of the United States in which they articulate the biblical view. But they do so with a great sense of graciousness. Let me give you an illustration. They put out a, a magazine, Christian Legal Society, and in it was an ad for an um, attorney wanted by some law firm. It said, a Christian attorney, Christian legal firm would like to hire a Christian attorney. Da -da 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 -da. And so the, the Jewish, uh, one of the Jewish groups, which, by the way, are behind a whole lot of this stuff, because there is that ancient antagonism to Christianity. And we understand that, and we love them anyway, but we understand there's an antagonism there. But, uh, so this group called up the Christian Legal Society and said, how dare you? It's unethical for you to put a Christian lawyer in there. That's discrimination, so forth, so forth, so forth. So the Christian Legal Society called them back in the next day or so, and uh, Sam said, and he said, I just want you to know that we want to be sensitive to you. We don't want to be a discredit to the legal profession. And if that is an offense to you in our magazine, we won't put that there anymore. And he said the girl was an attorney who listened to him in the Washington office, who broke into tears, that anyone would be that conscientious. It doesn't matter to them because their magazine only goes to Christian attorneys, so they know what they're saying. But rather than make war, they would seek to make peace and express themselves in a gentle way. But when it comes to standing for truth, they need to be there to speak. And so what happens is they treat those people with kindness on that level, but when they get into the courtroom and those people are crying for the humanist viewpoint, they say, this is what we believe is right based on the Scripture and the tradition that's been established by Christianity and so forth. So, so it's a question of, of uh, morality as over against just partisan politics and views on things that aren't moral issues. Okay? okay that's a long answer you. to a short question.